What's up y'all? So this is Jason here in Williamsburg, in, out here in Brooklyn, and there's this awesome new art fair that I didn't even know about until now. It's called the Other Art Fair. And so it kind of reminds me of like, like when, when I was down in Art Basel, when I was down at these, at these other awesome contemporary art fairs, art festivals, and and uh, this is right here in New York City, and it's and it's just it's really on the on the high level. I love it. So let me take you inside and go take a look. And actually, they give you these wristbands if it, when, when you come in, and uh, they give you three tickets right on the, built into the wristband, which gives you beer. But there's also other sampling stations like uh, they had like uh, different whiskey and different different stations to give you free cocktails. So let's go take a look. There's check-in. The wristband, free drinks. Wow, that's beautiful. I love that. Really, really abstract art here. I love this. This is my style. <laughs> he said, "Please touch the plants," which is not plants. This is this is art. Have a good bundle of the heart. Squeeze the balls. Of the uh, I will. Oh, it's really, really. Well, that, that's cotton, isn't it? It's made from Rachel's the artist. Ask Rachel. It's made of layers and layers of stitch. And then sculpted. And then sculpted and uh, made into new layers. Wow, that's incredible. It looks so real. Thank you. It's yeah. <laughs> My name is Rachel Nettles. Uh, Okay, so the price is here is uh, 450, 450, 2007, and 1610 dollars. I, I bet she might give a discount on the ten dollars though. Well, we, okay. No discount. Cut it off. Okay. So really convenient here, especially kind of for the holidays. When you buy something, you can take it right to the back there and get it wrapped up and take it home. Go back to it. So actually, that's really, really good timing there. Good timing. I'm kind of looking for the beer though. Where's the beer? So the process, how it goes is you, you come here and you pay, you, you choose your artwork, then you, uh, then you come here and pay, then you go back there, and then you can pick up your art, and then you can come here and get it wrapped up. That's really, really smooth actually. Really, really smooth way to just uh, get the payment done. And everybody can probably collect a credit card that way and everything. What about Bitcoin? What about Bitcoin? So let's keep it moving. Actually, the prices were really low on those vegetables there. If you need a vegetable, look her up. It's kind of like bloody heads. I like it. Hi, I'm Josh with Dean. These are my paintings. I've developed a process that is, uh, emulates a color printer. So I start with the black and then I go to cyan, yellow, magenta. That looks like you. That is me. And Evan Paul English. Where are you from? <laughs> from Idaho originally. I live in Brooklyn. Oh, right on, yeah. right on. Love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm in love with this self portrait. <laughs> What does that mean? Well, that's good right here. Yeah, I'm upset. So, with painting, I kept trying to break the surface and add something that would come out into the space. So, that was the point. Yeah, like breaking the boundary between two and three dimension. So, now everything, as you see here, is, is touching the ground. So, that's kind of my latest. Oh, I see, I see. It's all touching the ground. Yeah, it's theatrical. Yeah. Kind of like your beard, kind of breaking the surface too. Your beard. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. And you do? Yes. People think it's a beard or a skirt. I've heard a skirt. It's multi-interpretation. I'm getting my free beers. I drank my beer already, and it was it was actually really good beer. It was really funny. They had like a few different cans on the counter, and then he said, "Oh, they're all the same beer, just different cans." But the beer was fine. It was like Czech beer. That's really good.
Christian DeWolf. I make what you see behind. I asked him if these paintings would be heavy, and he said they're not heavy. But I uh, like, you just look at them and you feel like a, you need a lot of strength. There's another artist named Blake right. Brasher. Rebecca? Hey, what's your name? He's definitely, uh, yeah, Use, just using every color possible. I love it. My name is Blake Brazier. I'm an artist based outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, and I'm just talking about um, some of my paintings that I have on display here at the Sachi Other Art Fair. Uh, I'm talking about how I start out these paintings by getting the canvas very wet, pouring the water into the canvas, and then applying a um, very thin acrylic. You admit your future sickness will be cured by an immigrant you now reject. Hmm. Is it normal for society to be so focused on acquisition of material things? What exactly is normal or abnormal? You really can't answer that question. What shames have you endured? Tattoo. I'm with the Ashton. I'm one of the artists from Houston, and I'm here for the other art fair in Brooklyn. This isn't uh, where these are galleries in every uh, in every little little uh, nook and cranny here. Th these are the artists. They're actually sitting there with their with their with their with their art and you can talk to them. You can buy their art right here. So it's really awesome. I love that. Do this painting, it's incredible. Oh, you're back? I'm sure. That's incredible. This is your work? Yes. Wow. Oh. It's almost like unthinkable how somebody how you, how one would even do this. A lot of time, a lot of masking tape. A lot of masking tape, yeah, yeah. I would imagine so. Are you filming at the moment? Yeah. Okay. Right. So how do you do that? So, first of all, I do the bottom grid, and I use a lot of straight lines, even though the, the function causes some curves when in the final product. Um, yeah, I just grid, do lots of straight line grids and color it, and then I do another layer. You've got some secret in here that we're not hearing about, which is which is which is which is amazing, amazing work. Good job, it's incredible. Wow. Where are you from? Sydney, Australia. Sydney, okay. Good to have you here in Brooklyn. Yeah, nice to be here. It's great to be in New York. So 
so I spend a lot of time mixing the colours. I'm really, I'm really fussy about the gradations. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into making sure they're just right in different lights yeah, and with each other. When I've got two different series of colours intersecting, it takes me a long time. It, it, it really feels like this would take a long time to do, actually, as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, each painting, wow, that could take a long time. Yeah, it really does, but once I start working, it, it's quite relaxing, almost meditative. It's a lot of color again. I listen to the radio. I roll around in my thoughts. It's nice. I like the process. What, 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 what kind of music are you listening to? Oh. It depends. It depends on my deadlines. If I need to get something done fast, it's hip hop because that rhythm keeps me going. Because I can dilly dally a little bit when I'm getting involved in finicky details. But if it's if, if I'm not in a rush, then I listen to anything. I I I like listen to the radio or I listen to different Spotify channels, different playlists. I like at the moment I like the XX a lot. So I'm listening to the XX. I'm listening to an artist called Benoffi, she's Australian, she's worth checking out. I like her music. Like right on, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you, oh, uh, one more, do you like Brooklyn? What do you think of Brooklyn? Oh, I love Brooklyn. Uh, this is my first time staying in Greenpoint. What a cool little area. It's like such an interesting mix of Polish, traditional, and like young, up and coming, aspirational, cool kids. Like, it's, it's, it's a really interesting place. Brooklyn's great. What's your favorite spot in Sydney? Sydney. Oh, I like it by the water. If you're in Sydney, you want to be near the water, I think. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me and I walk alone. I walk this empty street. So what we've shown here is the Samsung Frame. It's a new type of TV technology available out in the marketplace for consumers to buy. So currently today when you watch TV, uh, what happens when you go to turn the TV off? Well, it's just a black canvas. Doesn't that may not necessarily match within the room environment. But the Samsung Frame, when you go to turn the TV off, it then turns into a workable piece of art. Oh. Uh, this allows you to select the artworks that you want to display on the TV itself. Uh, Samsung has three different categories to choose from. We have the Samsung Collection, which is over 100 pieces of artwork, uh, both uh, regular type art such as paintings and drawings, as well as digital art. Once you have the item that you want to showcase, like this one here, you then have op options to mat it. You can either go with no mats, a modern mat, or a shadow box mat. Once you have that matting, you can then change different colors to maybe the one that you desire that either matches the photo or matches the room. Then you select it, you hit set, it's now set onto the frame. Now it also has a light sensor built inside of it, so as the room gets brighter, the picture will get brighter. As the room gets darker, the picture will get darker to match the room at all times. And it has a motion sensor, so when you're not in front of the frame, it goes to complete standby mode, and then when you come back in front of it, it kicks right back on. What about all the electricity it uses? Uh, just like a standard TV, it's going to use minimal electricity. It operates around $17 a year uh, to operate the TV. Uh, it passes all the Energy Star specifications. Uh, along with, you can also add your own stuff to the frame via your phone or through a USB jump drive. And we also have the art store, which is five dollars a month. Well, five dollars a month, you can get you get access to all this art. All this uh, other art. So you get the hundred pieces of art for free, already preloaded. Hundred hundred pieces of art for free. But we have hundreds more available in the art store, and we just added a new curation known as Old Masters. And in this one, you'll get paintings from like Van Gogh. Uh, you also have Da Vinci, as well as other famous artists from way back in time. Nice. Yeah, so you could skip that auction and just buy it for five dollars right here. <laughs> you got Van Gogh on the wall. So hi, I'm Bethany Brook. I'm an abstract artist, and we are at the other art fair in Brooklyn in Greenpoint. I'm at booth 59, and this is my work. Um, it's a combination of figure and form, and I use color to stir emotion in the viewer. I move the canvases and I paint from above and I move them in all directions so my work can be installed vertically or horizontally 
and it can be interpreted in different ways. You can check out more of my work on my Instagram feed. It's Bethany Brook Art on Instagram. Thanks. I'm from Westport, Connecticut. Connecticut, right on. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Your art, your, your art is uh, figurative? Um, I, I it's interesting. It, it's, it's almost and abstract. Lands, and landscape. So some of the work can be interpreted as figurative if it's vertical, but then when you turn it, it can be read as a landscape. And so I like to balance the masculine and feminine in my work. Um, and I like the work to have strength and presence because I'm a female artist, so that's important to me. But I also like there to be subtlety and sophistication with the color palette. Tell me about this piece here then. So this piece is called Her. Um, it's acrylic base with oil on top. And um, actually it's really fascinating when I was painting this work. In the process, um, I'm very gestural with my painting. And in my studio there was a chair behind me that I didn't see. And so I bent down and I actually fractured my coccyx while I was painting this painting. Finished the piece and when I was done, I leaned it up against the wall and I thought, oh my goodness, I literally painted the gestural movement of, of me. And so it kind of like has stuck with me ever since, but I'm always inspired by my surroundings and landscape and the colors I see. And so um, it can be interpreted in different ways. And I like to really marry form. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I, th I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's very, it's really strong painting. Thank you. It's, it's very instinctual and very visceral. So there's no preconceived notion to what I paint. I do meditate, and I meditate before I paint. And in my meditations, I see colors, I see form, um, and I feel a mood. And so that's where I really center myself. And then I just go to the canvas. And for me, the work really guides me. I don't guide the work. And so. Really, it's a journey. Each painting is really a journey, um, and it's it's sort of an unknown where it will end up. But it's always a really beautiful process and evolution. So this is artist Hoon Yang Chang. <laughs> it's really North Korean uh, themed art, really, and it's really beautiful, actually. Big up self reality, number one. A tribute to the man called Dennis Brown. It's a la 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 la. It's a la 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 la. See the concrete castle king. Won't you give us a helping hand? A concrete castle king. I hope you will understand. My name is Andrea Packard. I'm a figurative oil painter based in Brooklyn, New York. And this is my work. We're currently at the other art fair in Greenpoint. So, these are my oil paintings. Well, how do you choose your models? Um, so these models are. They're all modeling a lot life for you while you're painting, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, some are friends. Some are dancers. Some are actors. Some are art models. Some are a combination of multiple things. So, yeah. Nice. Here. This guy's got a nose piercing, it looks like. He does, yes. You had to paint that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Small brush, yeah. I mean, the tiny brush. Yeah. Same with the earring. Beautiful colors here. Thank you. We painted that with a filter that goes over the light, so it gives it that kind of like fluorescent. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, Andrea Packard. Yeah.
other art fair. I uh, work in abstract landscapes and seascapes.